I'm Jeff Russo here at Buffalo's Outer Harbor. Amazing, emotional, powerful. Those are the words of the folks that experienced the total eclipse here just south of downtown Buffalo today. Sort of a cat and mouse game with the clouds and the sun throughout the day. We had a great shot of the eclipse up until about 15 minutes before totality, before the clouds rolled in and really slowed things down. But still, such a day to remember for all of Western New York today. A wild scene during totality here at the Outer Harbor. As we plunged into darkness, the street lights came on, the city skyline lit up, the temperature dropped, oohs and ahs as you saw the unbelievable colors on the horizon just over the lake here today. And even though it wasn't perfect, disrupted by clouds at times today, those I spoke with said, Said it was a shared experience to remember. It was an uh, incredible experience to see daytime, night, and then back to day within minutes. That, that was uh, unusual. What were your thoughts when it when it went dark? Um, oh, that was really cool. When all of the like the street lights turned on and people were like using their laser lights and stuff like that. That was really neat. I had a lot of fun just being able to because I'm here with some family who hadn't seen it before. So just I was telling them like it's gonna get dark. Someone didn't think it was going to be like that dark. When it started getting a little dusky, they were like, okay. This and I'm like, no, it's going to be like nighttime, nighttime. Right. Organizers tell me about 2,900 tickets were distributed for this viewing party here at the Outer Harbor. I don't think we quite got to that point. Still hundreds out here to enjoy a day to remember for sure. Folks also now looking ahead to the next eclipse. In fact, I'm being told that they're putting together a time capsule to pass on lessons learned to the next generations to be ready and to be open for the next eclipse in 2144. Reporting live from the Outer Harbor tonight, Jeff Russo, 7 News.